afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting, riveting, and amazing propaganda cast from your host and Pearl Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. We're off here to a 1v1 own. Of all maps, it is Fame will approach. In the north, it is Iroha, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the third Panzer with strategic reserves. Triple infantry bullets with assault grenadiers. Panzer for model J's. Breakthrough packages, mobile observation posts, and the tag race west and south. It is C++ fighting for the Soviet Union. Comrade Stalin taking on the role here of the 6th Guards mechanized call with mine, infantry, and tank grenade bulletins. Sandbags being rapidly laid up here. And as always, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And press that bell button. Helps me and helps you. Also, a big thanks to channel for donating and supporting the propaganda cast allow me to keep doing what i do on a daily basis so big thanks to you you're part of my company heroes and you too can join those ranks by either pledging on patreon or just donating links in the video description we got movement here from the northern fuel pond there machine gun wing harsh as well there come sitting in here with a third console on the way there for c plus plus occupying the center building there come sitting out here we got the certain Bags being laid down here by the sun, the fuel point. Iroha, though, is dangerously extended with no point really having any like density of forces, meaning there's any chance here to just get swarmed and pushed back. Pretty risky as the Vama, though, we are seeing double assault units going pretty aggressively here versus C, hoping to push them back there with some well laid assault troops. Looks like the emphasis now suddenly in the north here. Perhaps the south was, in fact, just a decoy or a distraction here to occupy Mr. C, if that happened. Other way, assault guns moving about. Pioneer assault just quickly moving on. MG42 assault guns moving up here. Northern fuel point will be claimed then by the German army. Back here, nothing further going on there for C. No son of doctrine. Sandbags up here by the fuel point. There goes Hawkins shouting in. Quick use of the sprint there. Better look to Billy for some players from the use of uh, the assault guns, but it's quite crucial allowing to quickly close the gap and get up close. And there we go. Kansk is routed. One man drops dead. Brittled with bullets and unable to run fast enough. On the scout, then Northern Fuel Point there, 4th Consport there, 4th C++. Consport in there, Soldier's going to deal with them as well. Pioneers could assist from the south, of course. No, he's popping into heavy cover, trying to grab the point here. Or at least for the nuke before going in there, but I feel like he needs to prioritize murdering the conscripts more than grabbing the point there. I feel like that's a bit of a bad call otherwise by Iroha. But it is a call you see some players making. Third Assault Gunner Deer Squad, so Triple Assault Gunner Deer is MD42 versus Quadruple Conscript, or Triple Conscript, and then Deer Squad there. I think he's realized that just versus all these Assault Gunner Deer a heavy Conscript build. May at least initially not work out until he can get out some support weapons for them or some SVT 40s, whatever you call what it ends up with. Normal fuel hit there and secured. But C of course outsmarts Iroha by basically just going straight for the car upon they're realizing that's a gap open there. Good play they even digs in with sandbags, though of course that could also theoretically help Iroha down the road. Assault just moving in and cleaning up the comps got close. Probably some tech there indeed for Iroha. In the south here we got hay finding with the southern fuel point again. Assault is charging forwards once more. A lot of sprinting here from Iroha. Working the assault gun is to the bone. And there you go, Constable close to the assault gun is being hosed down. The MP40 is making short work of the front of X. In the north, we got a push here for the fuel pond. The MP4 sitting up there, flame throws on the way for C. No sign of further tech. The engineers being shredded, cut to ribbons, and annihilated. Furious fighting continues to ensue here. Pioneers retreating down just one man, plus could do with some like to make a nice company. Awesome punch on it is. I think both of our viable options here for Iroha. Versus C++ and the Red Army. Continuing down against the Assault Gunners in the South. They have done well, but I think they kind of reached the limit here and will have to retreat. They're probably just going to retreat once they render the point neutral. Any further than that, I think risks basically losing the Assault Gunners score, which is not particularly great. Now the Assault Gunners hit to the Flamethrow Engineers are close. They will be able to beat the Flamethrow, though the Flamethrow, of course, does a lot of damage. There we go. Almost getting a wipe there, though. Continuing there. Go the Assault Gunners falling in there. Iroha here knows no mercy for... His own men, and there you go. The Conscripts are routed in the end, though. Uh, bit risky there still. The Assault Gunners are doing some incredible lifting. You can see there for Iroha and the German army. Highlighting why some players are quite fond of them. But I think they're going to have to retreat there. Even they have the limits. Like to make a nice company up. They're moving about here with M4 too aggressively. Assault Gunners sneaking up behind here. Iroha, or C++ front line. Very good. Medics out there for C++. Very good there. Back here, troops reinforcing. Like to make a nice company going up. Fuel on the south thing grab. Sandbags are plenty there for C++. Very good. Very good. Assault guns are reinforcing. Though some could definitely do with a medic. Bank me. They've got half health left. I mean, someone's going to die very fast in that squad and just feed the opponent experience and just bleed manpower. So I think they should just 
get a half tech out to be honest or a medic bunk and then either get them healed up with uh, by popping into the half tech or what, getting the medic bunk and going there and I think with the flame for a pioneer I think just going for 250 watt and half tech is going to be a better choice than the 2 to 2 to be honest plus it synergizes quite well with this assault and isn't quick to bring the bat where you want to and force on the front line plus in this case heal the assault in these so I feel like this is a slightly missed opportunity there by Yura, and this is just a waste of manpower. Like, the Assault is just going to get wiped and feed C++ the easy kills, which is not what you're typically looking to do as the Velma. I mean, typically you're not just looking to do it generally as the, against any faction, as any faction in general, but as the Velma in particular, you do not want to be feeding your opponent easy kills. So I would say a bit of a tactical misstep there by Yura, that could prove to be... Uh, slightly undermining, but nothing catastrophic. It's not yet. Any 4 2 remains up here. We got Guardsman out there. We got Guard Motor for C featuring T 55 Say Mortars. Guards Rifle Infantry. The Crew Pair Training and Mark Vehicle. A nice selection of abilities and ever classic doctrine there. Engineers Rider here by the MG 42. Guardsman getting the DP light machine guns as well. Very good. Going for the cop on again. But why up there? Nice setup though by C. Back here, Medic Banker finally going up there for Yuroha, but again, could have out sooner or could have gone for 251 half track. But again, I feel like that was a slightly missed opportunity by Yuroha, it loses tempo, loses momentum. Again, with the 250 half tech, please be hitting the half assaulters inside the half tech, also quickly shifting about them where they need and keeping them on the front line longer. So I think just the 251 half tech would have been a better choice than 2 to 2. Or at least a faster Medic Banker as well. And yeah, have some small considerations there, anyways. Darts were setting out there, machine gun repositioning. Good move. Good move. Got a deeper flank here. We're just for the engineers. Might have need the 2 to 2 up there. The soldiers pushing hard south here. Medic banker finding upgrade. And there you go. Troop quality with MG42 suppressed. Comes to down Sandbox. And there you go. The engineers going for the flank. 2 to 2 should be able to quickly respond to this Marxist threat here on the side of the MG42. Flame for engineers are slightly looking to draw some attention as well there. Pioneers went with their own flaming efforts. Noting, of course, this tells C, at least for now. But Iroha doesn't have minesweepers, so that's also now really, I think, good time for Iroha or C++ then to consider laying down mines here versus Iroha. We got Panzer in the leather for Iroha. Very good with Panzer and the dealer. Very good. Definitely something you do or want. Particularly with all these conscripts. Assault with these here versus the Frontovics under C++ command. Assault with close here. Again, for good damage in. Veterans 1 also make the hard to kill. In fact, they're also close to Veterans 2, which makes them better. Definitely bad news there for the Conscripts, plus we got the 2 2 in there, and more Assault Grenadiers. Panzer Grenadier Squad ready, there we go, Conscript down to just one man, he runs, but he's not going to run far. Except into hell. There we go, wipe the mana loss there for C++, Northern Fuel Point not being claimed, going to need to counter attack there though. We got one lone Panzer Grenadier Squad there, tripping, forcing healing. Also get access to smoke, thanks to the Doctrine's breakthrough packages. And Pioneers can get the Pioneer Support Package, which also gives them access to satchel charges, but also increases the repair speed, which is overall pretty handy. Engineers are busy with the Tank Tank Command, very good there. Tank T seems to be some time away, though, in this guy. Edoha's fuel harassment has been quite effective, obviously slowing down. C++ ability to go out for tanks, so that's actually pretty strong there for Edoha. Comes from the center being hammered by the 2 to 2. Up north here, Panzer are being slowly shot to bits. Machine and Marine support. Assault has been my base in the south, all rushing back to the base there for reinforcement and healing. Those assault units have all seen a lot of punishment, but they've also really just been doing some heavy lifting here for Iroha in the early game. And there you go, another assault which squat retreating, just needing healing, that's very good. Squat heals needs to go, but there you go, back for reinforcement, 12 kills, went to 2. A potent tool there for Iroha to deal with the Soviets. <laughs> On North Punch and then making short what Punch are gonna do that, making short work of the conscript. We do get a half tech here for C. Nice choice there. Probably gonna be the anti-aircraft mount, maybe not, but our way a half tech can be a nice tool in the right hands. Also less fuel intensive than the T70. So it does give C some choices versus Idoha. And gives me north northwards to the two million in the like their punch SP wagon. And they got the M5 half tech almost done. There you go. Bang grenade there, quickly dodges it. Does take some light damage as Petro finds himself with more than just his eardrums blown out. He finds a thing between his ears blown out as well. Guards from there, grab the northern victory point. T half take out there. Love TV upgraded. He's not far off them from going for it. 2 2, they need to be careful as well though. 
50 cover there from the M5, punching holes in it. Very large holes, and there you go. We do get the quad 50 cover mount there on the M5 half tank. Gives me multiple can reinforce near it. Not a bad idea to do so. They also repair it. Pack 14 with Toyota Hutch, respond to the M5. Fun fact about the M5 half tank. It actually had to design to be active mounted extra machine guns on the side, so it's just no army really utilized it. Probably because it was probably a bit pointless, but it looked really cool, though. It looks really cool, but yeah, most armies never used it. Additionally, the M5 was also primarily a dent lease equipment, since the US Army preferred the M3 half tech, which is better armored, so they handed it up to the Soviets and to the British and any other army, really. So, little fun fact there. After the change to the Sultan Deers, one man dead there. In the south here, but the fuel pump unfortunately conscripts got punched on the and the soldiers went to sweep them away. They're very good. Might want to consider taking up with the fasting and push for the pen for Moldia here, the better for Iroha. Also, with the munitions lead that Iroha has at the moment, right now it would all be a great time to consider some mines, telemines, S mines, and anything to help slow down C. C going for the maximum. Very nice pick there. We'll have to deal with the influence here. These are soldiers probably need to retreat as the anti aircraft traffic tech. They don't really stand much of a chance, it's just basically throwing away manpower, which is definitely a bit of a slightly uncomfortable habit here that you are seems to be developing. In the south, you got the soldiers with the conscript there. Grenade assault here, several shield hunting out if flying in the general direction. Most of them, well, more like to kill squirrels than to kill Soviets. Two to going for the anti aircraft tower attack. An aggressive push here, Pack 40 also supporting. Can he get it? I mean, that'd be pretty big there for Iroha. Almost. And does get it. A painful blow there to C++ and the Red Army. The M5 half track explodes. The crew scattered across the landscape alongside bits of the half track. Punch going to be there pushing back the search in the south. Very good. No tech yet, I think, here for Idaho. Still, definitely a bit of a no side at this stage. Should definitely be pushing for it. There you go. Tech on the way. And if they're going to push for a fast Panther for yeah, a fast Osprey, I think, being a really good position. Since, again, the fuel race very much favors Idaho. So, Either those two could really be great, and of course the Panther Moldier is just very good since it's basically the Opel Command West Panther 4. Without two levels of efficiency, sure, but it's still very powerful and so much better than the Wehrmacht Panther 4 for just a, like 20 more munitions and a bit more manpower. You get better armor right away, you get more accuracy, and more importantly, you get better efficiency too because that doesn't have to spend worry about armor up, so you actually get you more accuracy. Bangladesh against the Frontovics and the Bangladesh. One man had his face blown off. In the center, we got the M4 to the soldiers holding up against another sort of assault there from C. Assault squad holding back. And of course, once he gets that ready, he can actually then begin upgrading the assault grenadiers to veteran squad assault grenadiers squads, which of course is going to be pretty handy. Engineers flanking with the south, though. Good push there. No troops need about support, and that's going to be MD42 evacuated from the premises. North here, soldiers was the guard squad. Grenade assault here. Probably should have tried to throw it around here close to the front entrance. So if they try to just pop out there, they suffer a lot more. Bit awkward call there by Uraha. Wasted munitions. Though not a lot either. The ability itself is actually not expensive at 30 munitions. Engineers here. Push back alongside the concept by the M4 to assault Grenadier combo. Either half continue to present a strong front. There goes the Palmer Cop, and not really far off from the Pantheon Moldy either. I mean, we're just talking, well, a bit of a minute. They can easily call it in, so that'd be a really good pick there for Either half right now. Of course, Ostwin would also be a really good pick since that's even faster. But Pantheon Moldy or Ostwin, the silly choice right now be to go for the regular Pantheon since, I mean, why would you go for it? It's just objectively worse. Like, it might be slightly faster in some regards, I think, but. Beyond that, every other stat on the Panzerfall is just inferior to the Model J. Got soldiers pounding into the Panzer Squad here, going for the Guard Squad. Need to retreat that. I don't think it can last long here for C. Would be a waste of good manpower. There you go. He seems to reach the same conclusion and get them the devil out of there. In the South, also troops in through there. Good maneuvering by C. Got net awareness. Could do their pushing back. The assault is back, of course, up by a lot of assault units. And there you go. Panzer 4 for Iroha. And it's not the Model J. Are they new at this, maybe? But I was like, you know, you just want the Model J there. That's so much better. So a bit of an awkward call there by Iroha. Bit of an awkward call. 
I mean, I see people for occasionally when they're new to the Doctrine, they go for the regular Panda 4 because they don't quite know where it is and it's for example it's actually in the headquarters, so they might just go for the regular Panda 4 out of sheer habit. But, yeah, it's actually in the headquarters. So, slight mistake there by Iroha. Slight mistake, bit silly one. But definitely lost opportunities against the Panther Formal game would just be so much better. Panzer there was the guard squad in the center. Hitting the dirt there, or whatever it's called there. Assault this was the conscript squad. Assault grenades here could be useful to flush them out. Then again, double assault grenades for T2, even though they're a bit depleted, should be able to deal with the conscripts with ease. More Pioneer out here, very good. Minesweeper is a really good addition there. And of course, Pioneer support packages in general, also very handy. So there you go, Panther 4 out here for Iroha. But again, definitely should have gone for the Panda for Model J, make no mistake. Maximum of the Panda for Pinball Machine almost done. Killgun shoots, misses. Lucky there for Yuraha. Second shot also narrowly misses the Panda for. Continued good fortune there for Yuraha. Another miss, yikes. But partly it's because it's attacking ground from where you can't see. That tends to decrease the accuracy of these weapons, but still. I'm surprised they would just keep parking the Panther for them. I mean, at some point, they should just hang on, you know, realize they might just get shot eventually. But there you go, Panther 4 hold back. We got 462 versus 338 so far. Hero is, is in a nice lead over C. Back here, Trooping and Enforcing. Troops are healing and forcing for Iroha. Pani is being shot by the front of it. Spun grenade off. Light damage. Not the best throw, but not the worst either, I suppose. Pentacle, they're hanging back. 2 to 2 moving back in the south. 8 kills, but 2. Conscript advancing in the center there. Backed up by support weapons. Very good. In the south, also another proner being dispatched. Mechanized armor complex. We're going to be swinging at T3545 soon. That's going to require Stugs, I think, for to fight efficiently. That or getting out a lot more Panzer Force. But I think Stugs would just be, well, the more cost efficient answer, really. We'll have to see what Irohan does, of course. But they got directed from the field gun on the 2 2 2. More machine guns there for Irohan. There you go. 2 2 2 down. Minor blow there to the German army. Up north, the soldiers charging forward. So you're going to pop, try and pop grenades here. Check out with the Panda 4. Nope, no assault grenades here. Had a surprise move, continue to discharge right between two infantry squads. You would figure that'd be where you just chuck the grenades at them, but nope. Not for Iroha here. Assault grenades are pushed back. T35 there. 85, halfway done for C and the Red Army. The six guards make a nice call. Can't quite in the center there. Depleted, they're bleeding, but they're holding the line. Uh, south point being seized with the engineers, very good. They're taking advantage of the action elsewhere to just quickly gain some ground in the south. Thumbs up there to C. There we go. T3485 out here for C and the Red Army. That's definitely going to be a bit of a challenge here for Iroha. Depending on how C handles it, but if he handles it as well, it's going to easily be a challenge. If he missounds, of course, it's just going to be you know, target practice for Iroha's gunners. Oh, nice flank here, right behind the engineers. Thumbs up there. T5 racing through the center. Charging ahead there, shattering cows and other stuff there. Obviously, the cows are already dead. Most cows are not known for being able to slave through an entire battle, except old Bessie. But somehow, man, to sleep through the entire siege of Stalingrad. No one quite knows how, why, or how. <laughs> Pentaform, we got in the north. T5 up there, falling back. Assault is moving in against the engineers, pushing them back. Pioneers versus conscripts. Panther making a good shot. They kill one third of the conscripts, fort, leaving two thirds behind. Also worth them, of course, they're being upgraded there with mobilized reserves. Very good. T for the progressing north. It's Pine is nearby. Not entirely sure I'm a fan of them. Uh, Going Panther X there. I think again, just to be better here and just keeping them ready to deal with the infantry. We got veteran squads in the way for the assault grenades, though. That's very good. One squad so far upgraded with it. 
but he's almost oh he cancelled it and then went for it again apparently. Back at base, no additional armor here, definitely should be pushing for something soon. And again my recommendation would be to do three Ds. Three hundred points left is the four hundred eleven there of Iroha. Actually, four hundred forty-one, not four hundred eleven. There's a bit of a difference there. And we got T four on the way there for Iroha. Not a fan of the current timing of it. Like in this regard, Iroha is conceding a lot of tempo and momentum rather than pushing more medium armor. Now they're trying to develop something big, but that's ultimately slower to get out. That means C plus plus and catch up more and get in more armor. Meaning you know Iroha can actually quickly find themselves outnumbered. So I'm not entirely sure what it is. I mean, if it's a tiger, in particular, it's going to be very expensive. It's going to be a lot of timing loss on that. But even like, yes, the Storm Panther, or the Panther would be, I think, significant losses in Tambush. Storm Panther is probably the more defensive one, but the Panther, I think, would honestly be a bit irresponsible to go for like this. Would be a bit irresponsible. Panther there being pinned down to the ground, begging for being folded to fall back. Mortar on the way there for Mr. C++. Worth noting, he's going for the regular mortar, not the heavy mortar. Panther 4, good to go again, Assault is going to get backed up with Amy 4-2, we've got the T for the phone moving in. Directly on the Assault gun these. Grenade off, oh! Almost a wipe there, and dead in the ditch. Assault is going up, he's flanking the field gun, very good push there by Iroha. Panzer 4 and Panzer is going for it, Assault should be able to clear out the field gun with ease, that's going to be a problem there for C++, in particular if Iroha turns against C++, and there you go, field gun crew exterminated. Destroying the field gun instead, there you go. Oh wait, that's a minor loss there for C++ and the Red Army falling back in the north as pressures are now increasing here on Iroha's attack, which is definitely pushed a bit further than I can maintain the positions for. As we got a northern counter flank here by C++. Very good there, thumbs up. Constantly ahead of your falling back, we got 10 kills, close veterans, one back here, troops reinforcing healing, MB4 tuning a bit of as well. And four halfway done, and we got the field on the way there for C++, another one. Iroha, it's not clear what it's going for. Pack 4 declared out. Casualties piling up now for the German army. Again, the lack of medium armor. When they need it the most, is I think proving to be uh, quite crucial here. And they're sending him before to open the control. There we got a CIS 3 division for field gun halfway done. Mortar's been pulled up. It's taking some damage, though I'm not entirely sure what did it. Almost got the new squad up here close to Iroha's base, but not quite. One man does live to see another day for now. Oh, no mind, he got wiped, I think, by the MD-42. Looks like he caught him right at the very edge there and just shot him in the back. Back reinforcement healing for Iroha. Panther will need repairs very badly. Also, so to see, plus plus T-45. Also need some good repairs. Heavy Panzer Corp. Could be the Tiger Race, could be a Panther, could be Sturm Panzer. Hard to say if they're a hat. Hard to say. Definitely got almost enough fuel here for the Tiger Race. Manpower, I suppose, can be a bit longer, but obviously not impossible. Guards when they're pinned down, though. Comes then in the center of us, then before two should pop into the umpires. Once there we go, that'll cut tear through the cover as well. Eventually, comes then definitely need to get up. We got the soldiers moving in. I think they should take a slightly deeper path here to better threaten the flank of the conscripts and the tree path, but well, machine needs to be treated before the mortar knocks it out. Good badging there by uh, oh, we got a smoke screen off actually. And he's actually moving the machine gun ahead, that's a bit risky. Where is the smoke coming here from C? Where's the smoke going, I mean? In the south here, soldiers going for the conscripts. Smoke around the centre victory point, but no force to follow up with that. And there you go, troops in the centre here being, or south being ravaged by the T-35. Fuel wise, we're very close here to the Tiger Race. Manpower wise, roughly two minutes here for you have to call in the Tiger Race. Bit more to go there, bit more to go. Meanwhile, C provides can go, of course, for another T-35. Could also go for an H-5. Flares here about to be launched from the mortar. More than point being seized. And there we go. Another T for 84, 85. 4C++ in the Red Army. Field gun lands a nice punch. Then the Panzer 4. 
Pack forward to chance to clear with the T for the five. Five, which is actually half eight of actually two. In fact, it's closer than that. So there we go. Enough fuel ahead for the targets. Manpower once again. We are looking a few minutes off here. A few minutes off. And the fact that you have all time to play, I think, a lot more cautiously and defensively because we're going to try to manpower speaks a lot, but it is likely the tag race here that Iroha is planning for versus C. I'd love to see if C of course can exploit this versus Iroha and that way minimize the potential impact of the tag raids. Because if Super versus us, you know, this is the right time to play defensive as well. They could then open up for the Tiger is actually, you know, doing some very uncomfortable things to them. But again, if C++ sees upon this opportunity that Iroha is again playing very defensively and pushes hard and pushes intelligently, it could leave Iroha's Tiger is a lot less impressive and lost less, a lot less capable of making a serious impact against C++ and the Red Army. T for up the north here, moving north, but in the north here, getting the T... Uh, assault and the sport there, very good. In the center, got troops moving up there. In the south, we got the concept of the assault in the ears, charging here. They're 28 kills. They've really done some heavy lifting here for Udaha for sure. There go, grenade assault. There we go. Once more, a bit too far thrown. And ends up retreating. Hands for getting plenty of the T for the five. There we go, good hit here from C tank. 10 kills in that one. Panzer for gaining vets into one. T for the gaining vets into two. Increase rate of five. Very good. <clears throat> Iroha is now mere moments away from the Tag race, this German hero, and there we go. Tag race out. More engineers on the way there for Mr. C++. Top repair armor, very good idea there. Even if they do have self-repair, there's missions that could be spent on, say, on mines. So interesting enough, there's not really been a lot of mining from either side, which is definitely says a bit of a uh, miss there. A few for those running about, destroying the building and evicting any squirrels trying to hide it up north. He comes the tiger race. First shot gets a kill, so, so far, second shot gets a kill up. There we go. Petrov and Yuri blast here with the tiger race. Mighty eight hit moving gun. Tifa brother quickly backs off as well with the encounter with this German armored behemoth. T for the on the assault on his misses though. Either has advanced despite having a tag race but having lost most of the map now is very, very slow, awfully cautious, perhaps further undermining them the notion of going for the tag race if they're then gonna you know be too afraid to use it properly. Further highlighting another issue of going for the tag race like this. And she's just pretty much gonna put all your baskets or eggs in the basket. That's called the tag race, meaning that doesn't work out, you're bringing shops to become much more hesitant. Tina move about with said basket up there. Again, here in the machine in position. Tigress gets a decent hit in, but not enough. Field move from the south. Piney driving with the T for 25. Maximum gunner is taking several casualties there now. Have to fall back soon. I saw this moving in. Needs support from the Tigress though. Needs support. Should sprint in there. Isn't sprinting Tigress though. It's finally moving up there. Got grenade assault here on the field gun. Another less than great uh, grenade assault is to push back and send the other crimson rounds here from the machine guns. Pressing the nearby troops on the T-35. Very good. Punch takes but very good. We do actually get a mine here. Damaging the engine of the target. It's very good here, of course. If he gets a, a combat can be a crew pen, fix it. But even then, it's going to slow down his advance. I mean, he probably can't finish off the T-35s, which is great for C++. We're now trying to build more critical mass here of tanks and tank destroyers. We'll have to, of course, they go for another T-45 here. But they do commit to an HD-5 in response to this. Pantrix they're flying, good hit on the T-445, Pantrix will have your damage, T-4 back, Tiger race there, there we go, activating the sort of repair ability, very good, thumbs up. I mean, a few people do go for that, certainly also someone never used that ability, but it's actually quite good, since it doesn't just fix criticals, it also you know, fixes damage, so it's very handy, and with this, the Tiger race is more or less fully fixed up for 35 munitions, not quite as powerful as the Soviet version, which can, you know, repair more, but... This is a Tiger Race and not a T for the five obviously. There you go. Comfort taking a hit from the Tiger Race. Closing in a bit to that mighty machine already. I still feel like uh, it could be handled a bit more actively here versus C, but still has managed to regain some equilibrium here on the equilibrium on the battlefield. We've got the issue five almost done there for C and the Red Army. 
And there you go. Tigres splats out there. Sergei. With an 18 in the shell. T5 moving up. And there you go. H5. Tanks right here for C++. And there you go. Engaging with the T5 and the Tigres. Good hit there. Very close to T2. And increased accuracy. Range. And of course, access to the spearhead ability. Shot. Almost got it, but not quite be seeing it wiped out. There's a problem there. And again, highlights right now. The Duha is active, but extended. Again, the targets feel like it's not being used too efficiently to mitigate this somewhat. Panther 4 there with a the damage engine. Also, that's you too. Pretty good there. Targets being forced to fall back alongside the Panther I think. But I'm just two men there taking a withering storm of Panther here from C. And a pack gets exterminated as well there. Close to the base. So it's going to be recovered at least for Duha here. Tiger is falling back. We got 351, 157. C plus needs to work on these victory points soon. More action in the south would be a really good idea there. Maybe some deep flanks here. Tiger is advancing, running to the T for the pub's line of fire. H5 trying to deal with it. Of course, flank is exposed, but there you go. Vetchy 2 gain. Tiger is there taking a lot of shots, though not all penetrate or hit even. But it's taking a lot of fine on this. There you go. Penetrating hit. Tiger is blitzing away. Can also go here for spearhead mode. Using the terrain there to mitigate in some of the incoming fire here from C++. Very good. Another hit there. Six kills. Still. Tiger is pushed back. Half dead. It's the five troops. Need to fix that. Tiger is pentacle setting out here. 19 kills. 22 Tiger is receiving critical repairs here. Protocols also pop in. Vehicle crew repair again to speed up the process. Never a bad idea, and I still think, you know, activating Spearhead would also be a very good idea there for Iroha. Otherwise, Iroha right now needs to bring in more armor and more infantry. Has lost an assault in this court, so more could be an idea. More Panzer Grenade could be, but also, honestly, just more tanks like, you know, a Panzer for Molden Gate on H2 on Osman here could be quite good for uh, Iroha. Or Stug, but definitely more armor and more infantry, I think, should be the uh, main priority right now for Iroha. Tiger Race, almost good to go. Again, could have popped vehicle crew repair to just, you know, get it repaired fast, but also get it repaired fully, so then have to rush it out there. Panzer 4, Tiger is on the move here. Strength line fire the issue 5, calculate support. Both missed there. Whatever they're shooting at, they missed it. Panzer 4 is about to get knocked out. They're not the best assault. They attack right into a concentration of C++ forces. Panzer 4 is about to get knocked out. Needs to get out of there. In fact, it might be too late. There you go. Panzer 4 down. A wasteful engagement there by Iroha. Wasteful engagement. Tiger is half HP free though and the hero level, but took a lot of damage, there will be some time. And of course now gonna have to operate alone against numerous Soviet armored vehicles, which is then the problem there for Iroha. Need to pull back both Pioneer Squads and the Tiger Race, I think. Finding the South Assault Squad charging in. Ace level on those chaps, 23 kills, 22 on the conscripts. There you go, they're getting absolutely annihilated. We could see a wipe, we could see a wipe, and yes, full wipe there on C in the southeast assault squad in the center being shredded as well. The Tiger Age moves there again, again. And there we do get spirit mode, very good. Panzer is moving up there. We can see C abandons the north, a bet evacuates with all of his armor. That's the Tiger Age pushing ahead there. Gets one of the T5s, not the ace one though, but still a bit of a blow there to C++, though he can easily replace the lost uh, T-35 with another nh 5 or a T-35. Meanwhile, we got a Panther move for Iroha. Bold move there. Not often you get to see a Tiger Race and a Panther together. The MD-14 with the advancing Contras there, hosing them down with good MD-42 fire. Halfway to the ace level there. Contras was pinned down to the ground, screaming for sweet mercy and release. And the machine gets wiped. You know how stands run out of troops to support the armor. That's definitely a bit dangerous. Tiger's been repaired, and again, can pop vehicle crew repair to speed up the repairs. But it seems like he's only been thinking about, like, you know, a way to fix critical damages. But again, it could just be useful to fix damage in general and speed up its return to the battlefield. So that's definitely something I think you know how wants to consider for the future. T-355, more on the way here for C++. We got 351, that's 113. C++ in a tight position, but they do have a larger force here than Iroha. It's only something that Iroha needs to work on a bit. Tiger is almost good to go. Panther ready as well, so that's two armored fighting vehicles here for Iroha. 
Will it be sufficient here to deal with C++? Will more be needed to beat down the front door of socialism in this sector? Northern point secure, centre one being grabbed here as well. South side is slightly open. We've got a lone assault squad there ready to deal with any sort of interlopers. And as of course we are in large numbers, are supported by armour. Tigers move back up with the pack with that. Shoots miss the issue of front pack. Both shots do issue of front pack. does not miss. Good work. T5 that's a hit from the Tigers in the Panther. One hit, one miss. Tigers taking hits there. Panther is moving up as well. They need to be careful. Another hit in the issue of five. Tigers need to be disengaged here. It is close to the ace, our hero level. Don't be getting stuck here. We get combat blitz, but it's. For some reason, it took really long for it just to drive backwards there. Do hate when that happens. There are some issues with Panther. Panther breaks us through here. The hedges. Panther gains the hero level. 10 kills. Almost got the Tigers about to lose the Panther. The Panther's just. Like, too easy to target with all these things about, and the armor doesn't really matter much, and it just doesn't have firepower either, so. Almost got the ace, T5, the Tiger is taking too much damage, need to disengage, need to disengage now. Panther is going for the issue 5, almost got it, main gun out, Tiger is running about here. Panther is charging, hit it, trying to take out the issue 5, but it's not enough. Assault is moving forward as well there. Panther is routed. T4 to 45, we need repairs, so the issue 5. Tiger is being hauled back here for repairs up north. Machine gun holding back the pioneers, then force them off the field. In the center, machine gun holding back the country there as well. We got 345, there's 107. So while to some degree, Iroha came ahead of this, I mean, the problem is they still got a smaller force than C++. And they are still, I think, oh, well, scattered. So if uh, C++ realized this and used the tools correctly, they could, I think, still have a good chance of winning this. Of course, I'm seeing whether or not they do it. Modifying down the MD42. They should have almost good to go. Very close to Vetsini 3. And there you go. Comes from the way there for Mr. C. Digging in there. Up north, machine gun there going from the northern victory point as well. Very good. Can't actually make it the crew as well. Destroying stuff here with the field gun. Tigers are being repaired again, not using the crew repairs to speed up the repairs. Slight oversight there. Does mark the first usage of it, which again was then clearly only to fix the critical repair damage, or engine damage, and not really concerned with the health there. You're seeing in there being flanked up, but the soldiers need to treat that one, I think, pretty soon. And south side is where, wide open now, I think, for uh, Mr. Ido or C plus stones. When there goes, soldiers taking out here the machine gun. Big blow there to C plus plus grabbing in. We got the T for the moment, got the shoot, misses. 22 kills, took a 2 pop another shot here. Good hit, Panther is moving machine, almost rubbed out here though by the T-35 Ace. Almost got it, Panther is moving up, no inf support here, better mistake there by thick C++ I think. Tiger is moving out here for Hira and the German army. Panther is flying here on the T-35 The South Constable for the Victor, Southern Victor point, might be a guard squad, yes it is indeed the guard squad. Panther can hit into the T-45 being murdered out in the open down to just two men with low health here. T-45 might be able to just finish them all off. Heavy damage on the T-45. Tiger is moving ahead of field gun. Oh, damage engine. Oh dear. H-H-5 opening up as well here. This could turn quickly against Iroha. As all of a sudden, if they lose the Tiger race, that's not really a lot then to deal with C++ armor. And they can't easily call in something. I mean, they could go for medium arm. But again, they seem a bit too fixated and heavier stuff. So, if... They then try and go for another Panther, that's going to be GG, they're going to need Stoogs now and Panther, four model Jays. Anything else is just not going to be sufficient. That's it, still plenty of time here, plenty you know, to work for the C++. They still themselves a bit short on infantry, plus they only got a T-35 that is heavily damaged, but right now I think there's a good chance to exploit in particular since Iroha is not going for Stoogs and Panther 4s right now. They have the option, they should be going for the option, but the Stoogs for some reason just aren't hitting the front line. Another T-35 there for C++, machine living hammer, the T-35, ace, 32 kills, a real rat banner fellow there, season us on the fuel point here. Oh dear, you can soon go for the panther, but will it be worth it? We got Fiend 33 versus 71, Panther is going here for the ace, T-35 there, quickly gets out of range, close shave there though, four. C++. There we go. We do get a Panther. 
That is definitely not the right pick here for Hero Heart. The Panthers simply cannot match the H25H or the 2 for 5 ace in firepower. And there's the H25 and the field, by the way. Its armor doesn't amount to much and just doesn't have enough firepower to match. So the Panther is a really bad choice for Hero Heart. They need stoops and they need stoops bad. And the stoops are really the only thing that might be able to salvage them right now. And they're going for a Panther. So yeah, not looking great here for Hero Heart and not looking great remotely. All three to punch control here of C++ and the Red Army. Hero Heart looking in a bad place. Panther almost ready. Choose me towards the center. This soldier's the MD42. Nice hit down the assault on this by the T-345. There we go. Panther number two out here for Hero Heart. Country North was the advancing pioneers under Iroha's command. Keep on engaging the assaulters in the center. Tearing into them with wild clean abandon, showing no mercy. Pampering engaging the T-35 down the flank, got hit. But as soon as the rest of the third army appears, that Panther's not going to live much longer. I fear there you go, Mark Tiger's only got the H-5, they're already zooming in on it. Panther heavily damaged already, and there you go, Panther down. It didn't stand much of a chance there, and there you go, Iroha surrenders, loss here for the German army, victory for C++. Iroha think basically kind of somewhat tossed the match out there by going for the Tiger Ocean and just push for more medium armor. That's really all they need to do, go for more Panther, for more Jays, go for Stoops, win the game then and there. By dragging the fight out, they pretty much just turn the game against them, because the Tiger Ace, while it has some goods, they just... In part, wasn't used very efficiently. It also was basically used in the way that allowed C++ were to gain back in the map. And again, they backed up with the Panther, and the Panther just isn't good. And then they went for the second Panther, which point definitely GG. So, Iroha was close to winning this match, but made, I think, some significant strategic mistakes that really just gave the match to C++. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this match. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell friends, tell family. Don't tell enemies. This is Imperial LinkedIn saying cheers, and thank you for watching. Hope to see you tomorrow again for another episode.